Canadian travelers are returning to the skies, with a 41% increase in those traveling abroad since November, according to Statistics Canada. This equates to more than 1.2 million people flying in and out of Canadian airports. Experts say this uptick causes a domino effect across other industries. Insurance is going to make a big difference, I think. People are going to be much more... In the past, to be like, do you need travel insurance? Oh, no, I'm fine, I'm covered. Or I'm not going to cancel, I'll be fine. But now I think people are going to realize that it really is important and COVID's not going away. There are still plenty of growing pains with cross-border commutes, as traveler Tracy has had to deal with flying from Fort McMurray to Wyoming. This morning when I came to the airport in Fort Mac to try to get home, they told me in addition to all the paperwork that I needed to get into Canada, that I needed a doctor's note to basically tell them the same thing that the positive test showed them a week ago. Even with these cross-border rules in place, travel agencies remain optimistic bookings will steadily increase. We're going to see a release of that pent-up demand where people have been putting off their travel plans, rebooking, rebooking, and now they really want to go, going to go there. And I anticipate that travel agents are going to be very busy, bearing in mind there's less of us to help out.